So I've got another example, very similar to the one we just finished in the last video um, with wanting kids. So I want you guys, I know we just started the video, but go ahead and pause and try this next example with three um, kids. See if you can list them out and figure out that probability. Hopefully you've done the problem. I'll go ahead and work it. If not, last chance to hit pause and work it. And please really do try to work it out. So the sample space is going to be really similar to the one we I wrote out with heads and tails. So my sample space does have eight things in it. That's because you have two choices for each child for a total of eight. So exactly two girls. There are three ways that can happen. So that probability is three eighths. So let's move on after this one and look at a new concept, which is odds. Odds is very similar to probability. In fact, it kind of conveys the same information, just in a different format. So I always liken it to making works cited pages. You know, when you're in an English class, um, you have to use MLA formatting for your works cited. But maybe if you go to education or psychology, you have to use APA formatting. It has that same information about the author and the books, but just kind of slightly different order. And um, so very similar with odds. So odds compares the favorable to the unfavorable. So I'm gonna write that out in the format. We usually see odds with the colon. Now that's really, that's the technical term. I always tell people it compares the good stuff, the stuff we wanna have happen, to the bad stuff. Now just to kind of relate it back to probability, the probability of an event always uses the total. And then it has the good stuff up front. So it does not have any of the bad information in it. Um, but we can go back and forth between these. So let's look at some examples. So for this first one, 200 tickets are sold in a drawing and we purchased or Matt purchased 10. What are the odds in favor of winning? With odds, you never use the total. We want that good stuff to the bad stuff or favorable to unfavorable. There are 10 good tickets and if there are 200 total tickets and 10 of them are good, there are 190 of them that are bad. So the bad would be 190. We do want to reduce these answers down. Your calculator does not have an odds um, button, but you could treat it like a fraction. So just do 10 divided by 190. I know we didn't write it like a fraction, but to reduce that down, and our calculator, would, again, it's gonna keep it as a fraction, but it would be one to 19. So we got another one here. This one has the odds against. So the odds against are the opposite. They're gonna give us the bad stuff first and then the good stuff. So the odds of something not happening. So that means that three is the bad stuff and five is the good stuff. And I want to know the probability. Remember, the probability is always the good or favorable stuff over the total. Well, the good stuff was five. And if there are three bad and five good, the total is eight. So five eighths. Let's look at one more. The probability of rain today is 43%. Give that in terms of odds. You do not use a total for odds. You never do that. So with percent, the total is 100. I'm not gonna use that. This would be the good would be 43. To get the bad, I'm gonna subtract that to give me 57% is the bad. So it would be 43 to 57.